Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and I didn't really think I'd be making a video right now at 2.35 in the morning, but hey, just a little bit ago, OnePlus decided to launch um, a little teaser for possibly an announcement that will be happening later today, possibly. Now, if you're a big tech rumor person, then you probably already know what I'm gonna talk about. I personally don't really follow leaks and rumors all too much. So while I've seen the pictures about the OnePlus 9, it's definitely official that OnePlus and Hasselblad are, are, are besties now. So the teaser they literally just released like an hour ago talks about how, hey, why don't we just let more light in? And then at the end, we see a brief glimpse of a Hasselblad camera sensor and then kind of cuts to what will be most likely the OnePlus 9 Pro, where we see two very large uh, lens elements and then two smaller ones with the Hasselblad name. Now, this is not the first time that we've seen a phone company partner with a large camera manufacturer. Uh, I mean, we've been seeing Leica lenses and Zeiss lenses in uh, phones for years. And honestly, of all the videos to talk about this uh, after this video per se, I should definitely check out Mr. Mobile's video where he literally has firsthand experience in working with these phone manufacturers to learn about what it means to license um, a name and kind of slap that little uh, label onto something like a phone. Because I used to get super excited anytime a phone or whatever was released and it would have a big name like I just mentioned. Now, honestly, my bar is always set pretty low. I mean, as soon as the red hydrogen flopped, I was scared that phones were just not destined to have very good cameras. Now, obviously on this channel in the past year, I really started to dive back into kind of pushing the limits of what phones can do. And so best to believe when this OnePlus 9 Pro whatever launches, I will be getting my hands on one as fast as humanly possible and doing what I usually do, which is pushing it to the extreme max. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so now and let me know down in the comments below what you're most excited about or what you'd want me to do with this phone that isn't even announced yet. So back to the teaser video real quick. So the lunar thing obviously is kind of an homage to Hasselblad's hand in being basically the first camera developed for the space program and its cameras have taken some of the most iconic pictures ever from outer space and of course the surface of the moon. Now in addition to that nice little messaging, I'm actually hoping that the kind of one line in there specifically talking about how why not just let more light in is taken literally in this phone where it's a bigger sensor. It's going to give you individually much bigger pixels, which is going to be much better in low light and much better color accuracy, natural skin tones and things like that, as long as their post-processing is handled very nicely. Again, hopefully Hasselblad truly has their hand in kind of the entire workflow. That's, that's my dreaming brain. Do I think that's actually gonna happen? I give it like a 30 to 40% chance just based on my ruined dreams of all the past opportunities. Again, the red hydrogen really messed with my brain. I got, I got really excited for that one. Because in terms of phone hardware, that's where we're kind of at in order to get better. There's plenty that can be done on the software side, but in terms of hardware, we just need bigger optics. Now, based on the image of the alleged OnePlus 9 Pro there that we see at the end, the camera bumps and camera optics don't look like anything too drastically new. It doesn't look that much bigger than the iPhone's camera bump. And so hopefully in a couple of hours, we learn about what is going to make this OnePlus 9 Pro so impressive. Just don't get easily fooled by the Hasselblad sticker. While OnePlus putting up $150 million over the next three years to invest in Hasselblad, is no joke. It definitely still could be some marketing ploy just to get people more interested in their phones and the cameras within them because they know how much weight the Hasselblad name carries. So are we going to see something that truly impresses us and gives us a, something fresh and something new when it comes to mobile photography and video? Or are we just going to get kind of the same old marketing ploys with 
big branded company names slapped everywhere. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I definitely am, I'm kind of 50-50 right now. I got the pessimistic side and the optimistic side of my brain going right now. So no matter what, I'm interested to see what OnePlus makes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.